Hey guys, we're Time6 here watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This is season two, episode 19 called Sabotage. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you're notified as soon as we upload our videos. Also, you can check out our Patreon page to get the next four episodes of early access and five episodes of full reactions right now. Check that out, link is down below. It helps out the channel a lot. And let's get started right away. I'm here, I'm here. Sorry, Charles. No, Jake. Never apologize for making an amazing entrance. <laughs> I don't know when I last met you. I don't kiss it as ass. Your alarm is power dependent. You brought this on yourself, son. The point is, it will not happen again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seriously, what the? Wait, what is he wearing? What's your excuse today? More bad luck. My car ran out of gas, and then my clothes disappeared from the laundromat. I had to beg one of my neighbors to loan me some of his. What the? Jeez. <laughs> my string of bad luck has finally come to an end. For all you failed your drug test. There were traces of cocaine and meth. What? Found in your urine. What? <laughs> yeah, what? That's no, my reaction. no way. I'm sure a couple of my teeth are loose, Replace but it. dental neglect, not meth. <laughs> Those tests are unreliable. Okay, let's not blame tests. I believe you. <laughs> going after tests. Someone drained my tank. Okay, I know you don't do drugs, so maybe there is something to what you're saying. Okay. I'll also put someone on this uh, sabotage theory. I got it. Jake, when I find whoever did this to you, I'm going to no, rip out their eyeballs. No, don't put him. That's going to be inside. Too close to this. <laughs> You're too close to okay, this. Yeah. Well, I'm assigning you a new partner. Actually, partners. Uh oh. Yeah, oh no. Looks like a peanut. That's a cashew. Ew. You're wrong. Oh. Ew. Sorry. You know how big cashews are? They're good detectives. They're fine. Oh no. I pushed it in deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Gina's dance concert was last night. Right. But don't worry. I told her we were there. Was your favorite move the goal? Oh no. Or was it space bubbles? Oh, I love them both. I'm That's how you get caught. Man. I maintain a strict code of integrity. Come on, Captain. <laughs> you never told a white lie to make a person feel better? I only lie when someone's safety is at risk. Or if a juvenile aged eight years or younger asks about Santa Claus. <laughs> I mean, that's when you lie, yeah. If she asks me, then yes. I suppose I will have to blow your spot right up. <laughs> okay, this is everyone I could think of who would want to mess with my life. Perps, people I've testified against, the old guy who lived underneath me when I was learning the Gangnam Style dance. Why? Well, I <laughs> well, my reputation is being sabotaged by some guy or girl. You know, monsters can be women too. Super progressive attitude, Jake. Look, you're on your <laughs> side. Jake, you're suspended. Just go home, have a beer, and smash something. That's what I'd do. Or take a smash day something. City. Go sightseeing. I know technically I'm not supposed to help out, but rules are made to be broken. They were made to be followed. Nothing is made to be broken. Uh, pinatas. Glow sticks. Karate boards. Spaghetti <laughs> when you have a small pot. Rules. Look, someone's messing with my. <laughs> so you guys have my back. I get it. Protocols, protocol. He's not gonna listen. I'm gonna go check out that we know him. chair design exhibit at the MoMA. Chair design sounds interesting. Nah. Mm, yeah, it could. It does. What are you guys? You can see some here? really cool Our prototypes. Jobs. You're not to be I guess I'm an Amy. I'm not. Fun tourist selfie. Boink. Not your best. Anyways, I'm gonna take a walking tour in here while you guys ask a couple oh, questions. Oh, I see. Also, I've been waiting for 20 minutes. Where have you been? He's just gonna hover behind yeah. them. Seventy eight people you said might want to hurt. I want to ask the cast oh. member his impression of my show. Got any Phoebe, or was it just love, love, love? Well, she knows their love. I thought yeah. it was amazing. <laughs> Terry, I have already received your praise. I'm <laughs> fishing in another pond right now. I'm pretty good. <laughs> Sergeant Jefferson and I were unable to attend your performance. Oh. Ow. <laughs> but you were so spot on with your compliments. Terry is a practiced liar. Oh, so I'm she didn't know. We oh. The show. I know that dancing is an important hobby to you. Hobby? You think my dancing is a hobby? Oh, yes. Me <laughs> and antique globe collecting. It's thrilling, but nobody does He's so, like, straight up. So I get paid. An applause. But an applause? Really you pay your bills with an applause? Get the fuck out of here. Gina Linetti will never dance again. Uh-oh. So those threatening phone calls what? are being made to Tim Orsk of Timo's Limos. It's interesting. This horse guy's name keeps cropping up in this case because he's the victim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's being extorted for ten thousand dollars. Sure, but what do they want from him? Ten thousand dollars. I just said that. I think limousine and magazine come from the same word. George Focus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can they retire? I interviewed horse. There it is again. Oh, you're useless. 
You're completely useless. <laughs> you are without a doubt the most incompetent detectives I've ever seen. Damn. And I'm including that bomb sniffing dog who helps all the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> should go talk to Jake Super, see if there was a power outage. What? Ah! Oh, oh shit. Out. I was investigating. I'll send you some selfies. Look, we're gonna get to your list. We just have to rule out other possibilities first. You know, there is a real chance that no one is after you. Yeah, but I'm telling you that someone is. That should be enough. And we told you to trust us. That should be enough. All right, fine. You yeah. want my help? You're not gonna get it. <laughs> Where is he? Where am I? What the? What? what? <laughs> oh, it's him. Hello. Saboteur. Oh. Oh. Jeff Do we know him? Weitzman, you're the one who's been sabotaging me? I'm just ruining your life like you ruined mine. You never should have arrested me. But I basically got your cocaine charges dropped. You only had to do 40 hours of community service. Right, but I wanted to get them all done at once. So oh, this really, guy. I did way too much. He was that lawyer. Went on a, His ex is you know boss. And then I lost my job, my wife, my home. So that's why you put drugs in my urine. Hey, that was my urine. Your oh. urine is in there. Why would you keep my pee? Belongings, <laughs> Jake. This is how I move now. Walking is too close to dancing, and there's no more dancing. And... You're so dramatic. <laughs> Jake, you're gonna help me get my life back. You're gonna confess on video to framing me for everything that got me in trouble. Hey, Boyle. Guess who caught the Timo's limos perp? Jake. Is Jake back? Oh, who is it? It's Colin Hitchcock. Really? Signed confession. Really? We listen to those voicemails again and notice the sound of parrots in the background. Got a list of employees, did door duty, asking neighbors if any of them kept pet birds. We finally found one who did, and guess what? The landscaping in front of his building was covered with these. Same type of rock that was thrown through the window. I can't believe it. What, you wow. You can break one? Watch. I mean, I can't believe you solved the case. Well, you're wrong on that, too. <laughs> Hi. I mean, they got the... They get shit done. Even if it's done stupidly. I destroyed the good name of an American hero, Jeffrey Hoitzman. Hoitzman. I framed him for drug possession. I got him fired from his job, and I planned... This guy's tied up. On the synagogue Who's gonna believe this video? 80 more confessions to go. I printed... Wait, what? Also, I fathered two children with Hoitzman's cleaning lady, and it was I, disguised as Jeffrey, who spoke against her at her political asylum. What the... <laughs> This guy's a freaking. Which is why I've decided to take my own life. Wait, no, I didn't decide that. Spoiler alert! Oh, oh he's gonna kill him? Dancing is more than just a hobby for you, it's a profession. Oh, so you're a liar like Terry now? No, I'm no <laughs> money buying coward. You are a professional. <laughs> In the back. Because I'm <laughs> Dancy Reagan to perform two shows at our at risk youth program. Congratulations. Thank you, Captain. Is she got paid? Oh, oh, oh. Don't hurt me. I'm someone's little boy. <laughs> I'm someone's little boy? <laughs> Wait, how did you find me? He hadn't done anything super annoying to us for like five hours, so we knew something was wrong. Oh, very <laughs> insulting. Damn, was it five hours? We looked through those irritating selfies you sent us, and in the background of three of them was an ice cream truck. We ran the plates and put out an APB. You guys are good cops. Yeah, no doy. How do you think we got to be the oldest guys here? By never being promoted and losing all your money to divorces. And bad investments. Anyway, and bad I'm <laughs> sorry for calling you useless. I'm gonna make sure everyone knows you did good. Boy, please don't. Don't. The last thing we need is to suddenly be on everyone's A-list. The ones to watch, the golden boys, a pair of red hot dicks. No one's gonna check that anymore. People call detectives now? <laughs> Besides, we did our share of that in the 70s and 80s. Now, we like to do paperwork in our comfy chairs. Away from oh, makes sense. Oh. They do that on purpose. And now it is time for the traditional handing back of gun and badge to the Vindicated Hero Ceremony. If this will make you happy, I believe these belong to you. You don't want to do it like a movie. The system stinks and this isn't over. I say we march down to City Hall. Get out of my office. Not enough. Rip your law. All right, so <clears throat> let's get into the episode. Let's, uh, let's start with the least interesting story, right? Mm -hmm. Which, in my opinion, is the Gino one. Do you guys agree or you think? 
Honestly, like, yeah, the sabotage yeah, is more. I huh? thought that, yeah. Which one's worse? When I say worse, I mean, like, less interesting. Oh, Gina. For Gina, sure. right? Sure. Gina one. Well, it's, it's, it's pretty her. basic. It's just Gina up to her usual sch schematics, manipulating everyone. Yeah, I don't like the manipulation. Because I agree with Something Holt new. in that situation, right? Yeah. It's like, just be like, oh, we couldn't make it. That's it. Be genuine, yeah. She should have the uh, self-confidence okay. or security to know that, like, it's okay. If someone No, but him. he should have ended it at that. We couldn't make it. Oh, the hobby part, right? The hobby, okay, when he clearly can see that she really <laughs> loves that dancing, whatever she, yeah, she she's, was doing, okay? She's passionate. Shitting on it, it's not going to help anyone. Like, mm -hmm. just let her dance. Like, I don't know? think he was trying to shit on it. He just called it what it was. In his yeah. opinion, from his view, right? We know how he is. He, okay. Yeah, okay. like okay. I understand why. He, he, yeah, that's he's his just personality. He's just super logical. Yeah, yeah, that's he's, straightforward. He's very right? literal. Yeah, he wasn't trying to like destroy her, her vibe. <clears throat> it's just there was no need for it. That's that. What would you call it? A profession? No, call it whatever she wants to call it. No, he called it profession in the end. Oh, he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's well, not really. I yeah, mean, he no, was is, right the is. first time. It is a profession. She doesn't get paid for it. Yes, she, that was the whole point of the episode. At the end, she, she, she got paid for it. Yeah, but when I guess we, when he when got, we uh, started our channel, we weren't getting paid. Is that a hobby or a profession? Hobby. hobby. Now it's a profession. Hobby. Yeah. Now it's a profession. Once you get paid, okay, so you're, you're amateur. No, I'm just trying to clarify the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once the you definitions. get paid, it's it's professional. Before that, it's amateur. So you're a hobby. <laughs> amateur. Amateur. <laughs> yeah, like in sports, for example, example when you're an amateur sports player, means that you're competing at a higher level, but you're not getting paid for it. Once you start. What about paid, in high school? You don't get paid, but you're still an athlete. You're an athlete, but you're not professional. That's athlete. not your you're not but professional. You, but it wouldn't be a hobby. You, you're still an athlete, like it's no, a, it's still a hobby. It's just a, it's a, a hobby? hobby that yeah, it's still a hobby that you're passionate about. And you're don't competing they in. don't get paid by like sponsorships and stuff? If you Not get in okay, high no, no, school, okay, the instant you get paid, it's no longer just a hobby. No, I'm saying then it's high a profession school. in high school. Doesn't matter how old you are. No, no, I get that. I get that in high school, they don't get paid, so it's just a hobby. Okay, Some high I'm just saying they do. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's possible. Maybe. It depends they on do, the school. Then they're a professional athlete because yeah, they're yeah. getting paid for it. Yeah, I guess that definition makes sense. Well, that's, that's what a profession is, right? It's something you practice and get paid for. Is there any in-between, you think, between profession and hobby? Is there a word for that? I know. that It's a distinction between how passionate you are and how seriously yeah. you take it, I guess. Well, if you're doing something that you love so much, get paid for it, and enjoy doing it, I guess it's a hobby and a profession. All right, let's move on to the next story, which is uh, the sabotage. <clears throat> Yeah, um, that doesn't really make too much sense. I mean, well, no, it makes sense. Actually, yeah, it did. Because you remember, you remember the, the guy, right? The horseman I don't. guy. Well, yeah, I, I he remember. was uh, uh, what, what what was this girl's name? The ex, this uh, Sophia. Sophia, yeah, Sophia's boss. Oh, remember I remember guy? now. Coke okay. in, the, in the washroom. But at the end guy. of the day, yeah, what, uh, he only got, ended up getting forty days of community service. Yeah, but no, when your reputation gets oh, yeah, destroyed, yeah. you're not going back to the same job and lifestyle, yeah. right? But the other other stuff didn't even come out. The only thing that was exposed is that he did coke. I feel like he could have gotten around that. Also, I feel like uh, all these because no, all these other confessions that the stuff he did that we just learned now that wasn't exposed before. No, no, not. but it's because remember when after he uh, after uh, he did the jail time whatever he's like. He he's listing service. all the other things that went down the drain. Like, he's like, I can't see my kids. My wife left me. Like, I have no friends. Like, I'm broke. And then a couple of these things was bring up in the tape. She's like, oh, like, it was me, Jake, who slept with the, our <laughs> yeah. housemaids. <laughs> like, it's... Yeah, was, I'm saying he, that stuff trying to fix wasn't too. exposed. So yeah. maybe he could have gotten around the coke stuff. Maybe if enough time passed. I don't know. Yeah. He wouldn't be, a, like, a boss at a law firm, but... I'm pretty sure he could do something. Yeah, because he still has a reputation. Or mm -hmm. we, we will see. Yeah. So that story was... Uh, it wasn't that funny. It was just more about... Did, did we even need it? Like, we thought that guy was done, right? Yeah. <laughs> he just came back yeah. for no reason. He just kind of came... Yeah, he just kind of randomly came back. And I was going to face more jail time. Mm -hmm. Also, what the hell was that? What... what? Oh, yeah, now he's going to jail. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's talk about his, his confession mm -hmm. tapes. 
Yeah. What? The guy's tied up in your video. So if you publish this video, no one's gonna believe it. Yeah, they're gonna watch they can see you tied Also, up. he yeah. used to be a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, literally. Like, how so, dumb are you? So, I mean, Jake, he's not drug so. So, Jake tied up is starting these videos and <laughs> is ending them. And, <laughs> and he's obviously and reading. And he's talking behind. Yeah, because this guy's editing the videos as well. So, <laughs> Jake tied up is also editing these videos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not break it down because it's going to get stupider. Yeah. So, I guess the better part of that story was... Uh, Rosa and Amy, yeah. right? They were able to solve the uh, the case, right? Without it, like on their own, basically. Yeah, they were literally just trying to help. Actually, wait, out. was it on their own? Because it was only because of Jake's selfies. Okay, yeah, so no, <laughs> never mind. Not on their own. Not on their own. So even the one good thing wasn't because of those two. But it was Jake, because of Jake. Jake was being completely unreasonable, though. Yeah, because I agree with they that, were yeah. they were just trying to help him out. They were doing everything right. They were trying to protect him. Mm -hmm. And oh. he's like, no. Was he a suspect? Who? Jake? This guy? No, that guy, that lawyer. I'm sure his name was in those papers. He like was? The 75 people. Well, it wasn't oh, 75. Oh, okay. There was 75, 85. I don't know. I'm sure it was. Because it, it, it was, but yeah, it must have been. You know why? Because he said it was people he testified against <laughs> and people he convicted. So testify, yeah. he, he would have testified against oh, them in gosh. court. Mm -hmm. And I think we did. And it would have him. to be people that are like, I think we watched not him. in jail. Yeah, but he wouldn't be a prime suspect though, because he got a light sentence. So you oh, wouldn't right. think that he had much to hold against him, right? You yeah. wouldn't expect him to have that much of a grudge, right. unless you follow the story. So we can move on to the what I think is the, the most interesting story, yeah. which is Hitchcock and Scully. And we find out that they're actually competent, or the, or maybe they are. We, we don't know. In the they're end. adequate at least. They might be. <laughs> they might be at adequate. least. <laughs> No, they did, they did a good job with this. Well, we, now we understand they're why situationally they're situationally adequate. So what no, what good they said training. was uh they did their share in the, the 90s. 80s. Yeah, they 80s did their or whatever, work. yeah. And now, they're just and now they're 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 they just they just want to chill. Yeah. Which makes sense cuz like you don't want to be running around. It makes a lot of sense, age, right? They seem the most comfortable out of anyone else there. Mm -hmm. They just don't do work and just chill and get paid. I mean, yeah. Well, they do do work. Like, oh, well, you guess paperwork. When, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Dude, paperwork is work. Yeah, that's true. But uh, they solved the case, and Charles uh, had to fess up or admit that they're not useless. And is that everything? Yeah. All right, guys, that was Brooklyn Nine Nine, Season Two, Episode Nineteen. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon page. Next four episodes of Early Access and five episodes of Full Reactions are there right now. And we'll see you next episode. Peace.